This morning, the impacts of the BioLab fire continue to be felt more than a week later. In just a few hours, the shelter in place recommendation will be lifted. That's actually at 7 a.m. Now that is unless the county decides to extend it again. 11 Elias, well, Beth Yates has been following this story since the beginning. Well, Beth, we know that order again lifts at 7 a.m., but the students in Rockdale County, they are not going to be back in class today. No, they will not be going back to class. Rockdale County officials say schools and students like those that attend the school behind me and others across the district will be virtual from today through October the 10th as they continue to monitor the gases being emitted from BioLab. Now, According to Rockdale County School, public schools, out of an abundance of caution, they are continuing to be virtual from Monday, October 7th through the 10th. In a statement, officials wrote, while the air quality is unlikely to cause harm to most people, there are some who may be affected by the chemical plume. Officials went on to say that the changing weather patterns and conditions make it difficult to predict exactly where the plume will travel and for how long, so they decided to go virtual. Now, over the weekend, residents came together to protest the impacts of the biolab plants. The group coming together, chanting and demanding the company be shut down. Take a listen. Explosions, just like what happened last week, they have happened three times before with biolab in Conyers. Three times before. Four times if you count the fire in 2020 in Lake Charles, Louisiana. So this is a systemic issue affecting black people, working class people, brown people. This is an issue affecting you know, our people. And you know we're standing up and fighting back against it. Now, BioLab has launched a community resource website, and it is currently in the process of opening an in-person assistance center. Coming up in just about 30 minutes, I have more on what the company is saying to the residents. Live in Conyers, Bo Beth Yates, 11 Alive News. Bo Beth, thank you. And we've been covering this story since the very beginning. We have all of our coverage on the top of the home screen on 11alive.com.